Hey guys, it's me, it's KC, and welcome back to my design series in The Simpsons Tapped Out. This is going to be Chapter 3, or Episode 3, so far in this whole update that I've been doing, and if you don't know how this works by now, every single episode I will say, hey, I want to have a theme for a certain thing, and then you guys will send me screenshots of what you've created, I will get inspiration off of it, and then I will pick a winner, and that particular winner, I will add them as a friend, or if you have a YouTube channel, I will plug that, or if you have a social media platform like Twitter, or Instagram, or whatever, I will plug it. But now in this third episode, it is going to be the Wild West, or the Old West. And I sifted through all of the particular emails that I got. By the way, if you don't know where to send it to, tappedoutdesigns at yahoo.com. Once again, tappedoutdesigns at yahoo.com. But as I said, I've sifted through all the different emails, all the different entries, so to speak, and I have picked a winner. And that winner is, drumroll please, Paula Delgado. Congratulations, you are the winner of this episode three, and there's a couple of reasons as to why I chose this design and where I got the inspiration from. The first thing is it's very, very simplistic, and not even talking tapped out, just in general, I like simplistic things, from web pages to obviously tapped out to just anything. I like simplistic things. I like it simple. Keep it simple, I guess, is the way of saying it. And the second reason is the screenshot you're about to see, there is a particular part of that that I chose, and I'll give you a reason why. Look at the very, very top of the screenshot, and you'll see a bunch of the buildings lined up in a row. That is a very strong hint as to why I chose that particular thing. For me personally, whenever I think of TV shows or like movies, for example, I think of this particular thing. Now close your eyes and imagine just a long dirt path, buildings on the left, buildings on the right, and that's it. Now that's not what a whole western town looks like, but think about it for a second. Whenever you think of movies and TV shows and you look at it, that's all you ever see. So that's what I decided to go with in my town. And that's why in the screenshot, you can see at the top, it's like a long row. Well, that's basically my inspiration right there. It's just a small thing, but it really, really just, boom. Light bulb went off in my head, and I decided to go with it. All right, here we go. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this, by the way. Probably because I know it's not actually finished yet, but I just hope you like it. I'm not lying, am I? I told you. One dirt path, buildings on both sides, and yes, I know the buildings at the bottom are not facing the right way, but obviously I can't do anything about that. You know, thinking back to movies and stuff with the whole strip, and then there's buildings on both sides, and then you got the bad guys facing off with the diddly wah, 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 and you got the tumbleweed bouncing in the middle, and then they go quick draw, boom, and somebody shoots each other. That's basically it. But as we progress forward, you can see here what's the top of the saloon, right there. I kind of ran into a bit of a snag because I wanted it to be completely straight. Well, this isn't exactly straight, is it? So it, it kind of ruined what I had envisioned for it to actually be, but I did the best I could, I suppose, with what I had to work with. So it's not really straight anymore, but I mean, it's still okay, I suppose. And you can see down below that there's a cemetery and everything like that, but it was difficult. It really, really was to think of something different because all of the screenshots that I saw and got emailed to me and just in general they were all like Paula's and that's not a bad thing whatsoever but it's just like they had the sidewalks that were around all the different buildings and stuff and that's not what I remember when I think of the Old West. As I said I think of it as just a straight dirt path with buildings on both sides. So while I'm you know relatively happy with what I've got here I am saving the best for last. Now in old western towns Sometimes there were mayors and sometimes there weren't. The times that there were mayors, oftentimes it was because they owned the most money. They were the richest. They owned a bunch of buildings in the town, so the, the people were like, hey, you're the mayor. So this is what I decided to do at the end of my town. Are you confused what I'm talking about? Mayor? The end of the town? I'm about to show you. Here we go. There it is. It's the mayor. So this person, they own this town. They're the one with the most money. They own some of the buildings. Let's say they own the bank, for example. This is their, this is their pad, so to speak. So when you get to the end of my town, you know this person is in charge, basically. He, he runs everything, I suppose. I mean, the sheriff 
they are in charge of keeping the peace, but the mayor is the one in charge of actually keeping the town afloat. And this is what I came up with. Now, I will say, I didn't come up with this on my own, but I really like to look at this an awful lot. The tractor doesn't exactly hit the time period completely right, but I liked it, so I put it in there as well. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's more that I still have to do over here with the rocks and everything, but I really don't know what to do with this. I started something with the, uh, the covered bridge and everything, but I'm still trying to tinker and figure something out with that. That's why I said it wasn't finished. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, everybody. There's not a lot to it, I know, and I'm really sorry about that, but I really did try to make something a little bit different than what I kept seeing from all the other different towns. I think I've accomplished that. Whether it's good or not, that's up to you guys, but I really wanted to come up with something that was more, I guess, realistic to me, personally, compared to everybody else, and I think I've accomplished that. So, this is the mayor, this is their town, and that's pretty much all she wrote. So thank you, Paula, again for the wonderful designs to help me get inspired to come up with my town. On to episode 4, where the next particular theme is going to be. I'm going to scroll over to it to show you. If I can remember where the heck it is. The leg is also very real. I'm very sorry about that. You know, I really have to record this on my tablet sometime. Which will make it a lot smoother as well, but... The next particular theme is going to be... The airport. So everybody out there, if you guys have a wonderful airport design with all these different things from a recent airport update, please, 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 please send me your screenshots at tapdoutdesigns at yahoo.com. Once again, tapdoutdesigns at yahoo.com. I will sift through all of the different, I guess, entries or whatever. I will pick a winner. I then will do the exact same thing I did in this video, explain why, and I will add you as a friend. If you have a YouTube channel, as I said, I will plug that. Any social media, I will plug that as well. And if there's anything else I can come up with as well, I will definitely plug that also. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.